What's up guys, it's Jeff with iDownloadBlog. I'm going to show you in this video how to downgrade, yes, downgrade your iOS 5 device back to iOS 4.3.3, which just happens to be the last firmware that had an untethered jailbreak. As you can see here, I'm running iOS 5.0.1. This is assuming that you have your SHSH blob saved for iOS 4.3.3 on Cydia, so just make sure you have those. Go ahead and put your device into DFU mode, you know, the 10 second, 10 second rule. Just hold it for 10 seconds, home and power, and then let go of the power button after 10 seconds and continue holding home until you just have the black screen there. So now our device should be just about in DFU mode, as you can see, it is in DFU mode. Head over to your Mac. Let's go open up a terminal and type sudo space nano slash Etsy slash host and then put in your password enter make sure you don't have any Apple lines in here So if you have any lines with Apple just delete those lines and then save it using Control O once you save it just go ahead and close out of terminal This just takes care of any lingering host file issues that we may encounter so just best to take care of that first and foremost Next up, open up the latest version of Red Snow, go to Extras, and then you want to select Pwn DFU mode. So just go ahead and click that to put your device in the Pwn DFU mode. You don't have to quanti quantify any firmware or anything like that. It'll just go ahead and do it. You won't notice anything change on your iPhone screen. It'll remain black, but this is an important step to do. Once you do that, you should see this message. Your device should now be in Pwn DFU mode, and the screen should be black in this mode. It will accept custom firmware, etc. So just cancel that on out. And now open up Tiny Umbrella. Click OK there, and then you should see the TS server is not running what you want to do is go ahead and start your TSS server for tiny umbrella this will allows you to downgrade this will allow you to use your saved off SHSH blobs that should be stored on Cydia so this is very important for you to do once you have TSS server running just go ahead and open up iTunes you'll get this message iTunes has detected an iPhone or iPod touch in recovery mode just hold option click restore and then you want to point it to your 4.3.3 firmware for your device you can download that of course from iDownload blog click open and it says it will erase and restore that's fine it'll go through the extracting software preparing to restore and then it'll actually go through the restore process here which I've sped up considerably because this takes a long time to go through. If you look at your device, you should notice the Apple logo with the little loading bar at the bottom of the logo. It should be loading. I've sped this up considerably as I stated, so it'll take a little longer for you. Now you probably will notice this error message, the iPhone cannot be restored, an unknown error occurred. One, that's okay, we're gonna fix that. Go ahead and click okay there, and you can, you'll probably see this as well. Go ahead and close out of iTunes completely. We don't need that right now. What you want to do is hop back over to Tiny Umbrella, go to the Advanced tab, make sure the second checkbox here, or actually the third, set host to city on exit is unchecked, and then go ahead and stop your TSS server, and then it should say TSS server is not running. Go ahead and open up Red Snow again. Now we want to go to Extras, and here's where we fix that iTunes error. Click Recovery Fix. It'll go through it. It almost seemed like you're jailbreaking your iPhone again, uh, but it's not actually jailbreaking the device. You'll notice that your screen on your device will look like this, and you'll get the matrix mode which I like to call it all the little text scrolling by here in just a second as you'll see and there it is and of course I've sped this up considerably just for time purposes and that should go through here and you should see the little pwn apple logo then you'll see a black screen and it should look something right after we get the little pwn apple like that so just a black screen now you want to go back over to red snow once it finishes its thing which it should finish shortly and now click back and then select just boot this time it's almost like we're performing a tethered boot for a tethered jailbreak of course the device is not yet jailbroken but this is a necessary step in order to downgrade your firmware back to 4.3.3 successfully all right then you should see the white screen notice back on red snow it'll say waiting for reboot and then it's going to try to identify and fetch the necessary files it needs for 4.3.3 so Give it a second, waiting for reboots. Let's head back over to our device. There is the Ponapple logo. That's a very good sign. We're almost, we're at the home stretch. We're almost there. And just give it a few more seconds, and then you should see something very familiar. There is the Apple logo. That's what we want to see. It'll load here. Go back to the Ponapple, and then eventually you should see the iTunes logo connect to iTunes. This is the old school logo for the 4.x devices. Of course, it no longer looks this way in iOS 5 and then connect your device to iTunes just open up iTunes and you should see your device back to the lock screen you can unlock it and let's prove that we are on 4.3.3 it looks quite different um, in the menus as you'll notice here for 4.3.3 if you've been using iOS 5 it's going to take some time to get used to here I actually had to look around to find what I was looking for 
go to general that's what we want there and then go to about and then you should see it version 4.3.3 so folks that is how you downgrade your iPhone or your iPod Touch back to 4.3.3, assuming you have your SHSH blob save. Hope this was able to help you out. Let me know what you think about this tutorial in the comments below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.